Ladies and gentlemen, we are back again. John is still on vacation in Europe. Ed Bullion has returned back to Atlanta to go run VinWiki. I hope you liked last week's video. If you did, smash the like button. If you didn't, leave a comment, tell us why. Today, we honestly almost didn't get a video out for this week because it's been crazy in the showroom. Cars going in and out, VIP clients showing up, tons of photo shoots and marketing stuff we had to do. But today, we are in Stewart, Florida at one of the ultimate Mercedes-Benz dealers and modifiers in the world. We are at the world famous Rentec. And we actually have five, actually technically six cars that are being worked on here. Some very cool 560 SECs. We have an AMG Hammer here. And I came to take some progress photos for Instagram. If you don't follow us on Instagram, please do. Here's the link. And yeah, I'm basically gonna bring you guys with us since uh, if not, we wouldn't have a video. So we're gonna go inside. We're gonna talk to Patrick, who's our friend here that helps coordinate things with us. And he's gonna walk us through some of what projects that Rentec are doing inside and then also the projects he's doing for us. When that's done, I'm gonna take a couple photos of the cars for our Instagram and uh, that'll be your video for this week. So stay tight. Guys, we're inside of Rentec. I'm here with Patrick Casey. He's gonna show us around, kind of. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. An Escalade. Interesting. Ooh, what's that? That is one of the hammers that we're finishing for a customer. So. Oh my gosh, this is the most beautiful hammer I think I've seen so far. <laughs> Steven knows that this car exists? Yes, he does. Oh my goodness, what a color. Wow. A lucky man who owns this car. Oh, this is ours, right? Yep. Cool. What's being done to this car? Uh, just a bunch of general maintenance and suspension, engine work, stuff like that. And just waiting on a few little harnesses and should be getting it back to you guys soon. This is the car that came from Japan, right? Yes. I'm not sure if this is one of the cars that John wanted me to look at or not, but while we're here, we might as well check it out. <laughs> what else is ours here? Uh, we got the black pearl hammer over there. Ooh, that's the important one. So, Look at that. Wow. So the seats are out, yeah. all the inside is out, back seats are out. Wow, everything is out, holy Toledo. So what's happening with this car? Just uh, everything, engine, right? Engine, yeah, doing, going through the suspension, drive line, resealing the motor, um, resealing the trans, and then um, we have to drop, still drop the subframe in the back, replace all the bushings and stuff along those Show lines. Show me the, uh, did you tell me the wiring was crazy in this thing? Yeah, let's go check it out. Yeah, so this is the, the rat's nest of wiring Holy that we took out of the car. Shit. So oh that was God. actually causing a parasitic draw. So I basically imagine. causing the battery to... Is this all stereo stuff? Uh, stereo and alarm. Holy, dude, look, like just the raw amount of like crimps and yeah. It's and done the completely wrong way. <laughs> and, and electrical tape, like you know there's no way that any of this could be correct. No, or safe. And the, just the sheer amount of wires, that's yep. insane. This is the engine, huh? Yep, this is the engine out of it. So it's gonna go back to our engine shop. We're gonna tear it down, put all new seals, gaskets, um, whatever else it really needs. It's cool to see it out so, of the car. Yeah. It's a big engine. 
And this is the two-piece head, huh? Uh, correct. I've actually not been able to always see it. Yeah, you. this is the top portion of it, and then the bottom. Or actually, right there. This is the, the valve covers here. Oh, OK. And then and the, the two-part head is actually this. This right here. Gotcha. From there and there. Cool. And then the tranny? Tranny. You guys got some oil. It? Yeah, got some oil leaks. So we're going to address all of that stuff, so. Cool. There's the 722 you saw from last week's episode. I think it's getting the, what's happening? I think it's getting the wheels removed. Sorry? You're, what are you guys doing? Pulling the wheels off, right? Yeah, so we're so going to put the wheels back to stock. So it'll be the black in the center with a silver lip. Um, we're going to get all of these back to factory specs, all the badging back to factory specs. And then all of this stuff. Yeah, this, this, these here. Those are also painted. Yep. It honestly looks kind of cool. I kind of like it, but I understand why they want to switch it There'll be some, back. once you get these back to like a silver or like a matte clear, uh -huh. it'll have a really nice contrast with these vents. Okay, cool. And this car, you, can, uh, you can't just lift it. You have to put it on a... Uh, you have like special adapters GT. that go on the arms and the pads of the... And go into the chassis? Correct. Gotcha. Cool. extent of the cars that I'm going to show you that are ours that are here because the rest are in various states of ratchetness and being like gone through. We have an SL60 that's here that's needs a lot of work. It's going to be amazing when it comes out but for right now I don't think it's worth showing to you but Patrick has been nice enough to show us around Rentec and right now we are walking into to our fabrication area. So we have a whole engine building shop. You know we do all the engines, the transmission, cylinder head work. Cool. Transmissions, differentials. Run stand. What's up? What engine is this? GT3. It's a GT3 engine. GT3. It's a 159. It's like a 6.3 liter in it. Sweet. Cool, cool. Yeah. And then over here we have our CNC shop. So, um, CNC. Yep. You can see we got some pulley rings here. Those get fitted on to basically a crankshaft a balancer. Cool. And then you can put them on a car. Yeah, one, two, three. Is that a CNC over there? Yes. No. Yeah? Yeah. Four? So you got five CNC machines. Yep. Wow, crazy. What else we got? Oh, this is like a fabrication area? Yeah, this is our welding fabrication area. So all of our exhaust is made in-house. Wow. Um, these are some of the downpipes that are completed. Uh, this would be for a brand new G63. Wow. How many people are in here at a time building uh, downpipes and exhausts? Uh, really? Four. Four. You know, I've always been curious, like, on older models that, like, aren't super popular right now, like, do you, each one will be built to order? Yes. Like if you want something like, I used to have a GLA 45 and that's like a car. Yeah, you know, for a GLA 45, like a downpipe, you know, it's made to order. So yeah. give us seven to 10 days to produce it, code it and get it out the door and for so you. And so you have uh, jigs for all of them? Correct. Cool. All right, this is the race shop, huh? Yeah, uh, we have two cars out right now. What are they racing in? Uh, SRO, and they're up in uh, New York. So this is one of the other GT4 cars wow. that we actually just got delivered a few weeks ago. This is a tight fit. Yeah. Holy Toledo. It feels like the driver got scooched out mm -hmm. almost. Yeah, they get fitted to, like see this mold right here? Yeah. So what they'll do is they'll come in and we'll fit them 
So that way the seat fits in perfectly. perfectly. Cool. And so what happens in here? This is just all the logistics for different race teams? Yeah, I mean, usually there's tons of equipment everywhere, wheels, tires, fuel. Um, unfortunately, our rig's on the road, so. Gotcha. I just got this one for you. So you guys have your own race team? Yes. And then yeah. you also support other people's race teams? No. No. Just no. Yours. We have our racing team, which is Rentec Motorsports. Gotcha. Um, so we have our 79 and 89 car. Gotcha. And, uh, yeah. Cool. And then what's, uh, is that secret over there? Are we allowed to see that? No? No. no. <laughs> okay. What's this? Uh, those are some 3D printers. Oh, cool. And these are so, metal or, or plastic 3D printers? Uh, plastic. So this is like for rapid prototyping and stuff? Yes. Yeah, so that way, like, if we want to design a part for a vehicle, um, we simply scan it, and then gotcha. you can enter it into a CAD program and send the CAD program to What's the, the printer. What's between all of these? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. This one looks like it's from the future. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I remember last time I was here, you guys were working on aero parts that you had 3D printed and put on the car. I think on that red car that's back there. Mm hmm Very cool. Future. So actually, it was on that car. Yeah, I'm the GT63. So do you think it has uh, final parts now, or are those still 3D printed parts? Um, Let's find out. The diffuser is still 3D printed. Wait, it is? Yeah, that's not carbon. Holy crap, it looks awesome. Now, th these are, I think... And oh, those yeah. are printed, and then that's the, the, the carbon. The carbon. Yep. Wow, that's a lot of carbon. Yeah. That's extremely So aggressive. a real nasty, aggressive splitter with a uh, you know, set of canards. Very cool. So. guys so that's it for this week's video had to keep it quick i gotta get back to miami before traffic hits oh look at that another hammer what do you know the world we live in uh like subscribe leave a comment next week if i get let's see 300 300 300 comments if we get 300 comments i'm gonna put two diablos on a dyno See about how much power they really make. How's that? Sound like fun? John's not here, he can't stop me. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.